Wow. Um, so the, the Sun Constellation HPC software stack is going to be a complete Linux and Solaris HPC stack. Uh, and uh, we will support this, uh, meaning that we will have collateral for support, things like documentation and training. And uh, we expect to build a first release of this in probably the late spring of uh, 2008, come out with the first release. So in, in the coming slides, I want to tell you a little bit more about our thinking uh, behind this uh, proposal. It's actually not a proposal. It's something we are really uh, starting to work on. So what is in this stack? Um, so what Sun doesn't want to do is build a new Linux distribution. So the plan is to take existing Linux distributions, and we will come across them a few times in these slides, um, as well as Solaris, and add a group of packages to it. Um, and some of these packages will be from Sun. Uh, you know, we have lots of, uh, of very good HPC software, such as, you know, Grid Engine, Sun Studio, Luster File System, the cluster tools, and, and there's probably five or 10 others. I think I have a slide with, uh, with a few more packages. Um, but there can also be other packages in from the community. Um, the software, and the accompanying product support will really cover the entire life cycle of an HPC installation. Um, as we probably all know, HPC tends to be very, very difficult in the beginning. When you deploy a cluster and you bring it up, there are usually numerous issues coming up. And so particularly the beginning phases of the life cycle need a lot of attention, but also further down the line when support is needed. Um, a major thrust behind this effort is to build a test suite to validate that this software is actually working well. Um, I had used the word notorious, uh, but that was removed. Um, HPC installations uh, and, and HPC users really know very, very much about the technology. They very frequently make substitutions. They say, oh, you know, let's replace this package. We like this, we have it elsewhere. And as a result, almost no software solution will stand up very easily without being resilient to changes. So the, the test suite is a really important component here so that if um, a, an institution for one reason or another has to say, oh, we want to use a different Linux kernel, we want to use a, a newer open IB stack, um, we uh, need tools to validate this. Um, even if the HPC users uh, wouldn't do this, the hardware will be changing fast and requires such changes. Yeah, very often new hardware requires updates to the software and again, you, you often end in a puddle of difficulties in the beginning. So this software stack um, states here many tools from Sun and a few outside uh, tools. And uh, you know, I, I, I don't think it's necessary to really walk through this very much because we've um, heard talks about a few of them. We will hear more talks about some others this afternoon. Um, I think um, it's uh, clear that while we are primarily targeting the uh, Sun hardware as a, as a delivery ve vehicle, you know, th this is a general suite of tools that uh, could be used um, elsewhere. So let me tell you more about this. That's just an innocent Blackberry that won't derail the presentation, I hope. Um, uh, so uh, another very important thing here is that we really want to leverage the community. So first of all, um, the focus is on open source software, which the HPC community is almost used to or expecting in most cases. Uh, much of the Sun software that is in the suite already is open source, but I believe there might be a few supported components as well as open variants of it. All the new tools and the, the testing tools that we will be adding to this will be open sourced. Um, we are also planning to uh, work, or better stated, continue to work with key, key customers and key partners to, to validate the approach and uh, check the requirements, but also to leverage their experience and, and possibly make some substitutions in the hardware stack. Uh, my group um, had a a slightly more modest plan um, uh, has, has had it for about a year. We wanted to build for the Luster file system something called the Luster runtime environment, which very much was addressing the same problem. We wanted to be able to ship turnkey solutions with Luster, and we actually held a requirements meeting, and 
um, TAG was there, and the fact that I put so much emphasis on the test suite was in fact TAG's idea. TAG said, it's great that you want to certify this, but we'll change it anyway, so let's talk more about the testing tools. Yeah, And that's the kind of interaction we really like with our customers because they um, often have more experience than we do. So uh, another thing that is very, very important is that um, more than a handful of people in Sun are enabled to uh, work with this stack from various roles. At the moment, the, the core community, HPC community in Sun is too small for us to keep up with the market opportunity. So we're going to be putting a lot of emphasis on training and documenting this, and um, it, it that's for customers, but also very much for the Sun staff that will be helping you, uh, you know, possibly with installs, with support, and so on. And again here, this will be a supported product. So on Solaris, at the moment, there are only a handful of HPC installations. Nevertheless, you know, we really believe that Solaris, um, in many cases, can offer advantages. And so how, how are we looking at that in the context of this effort, which is, you know, in a certain sense, primarily uh, shooting at Linux in the first place? So the important thing is that we have aligned the approach between the Solaris HPC software and the Linux HPC software. Both are going to be the operating system with the HPC packages. And um, we are going to be uh, allowing Linux to benefit from improvements uh, that have been made in Solaris already. OpenMPI is a very good example. Uh, OpenMPI has seen uh, very, very interesting changes made by Sun in the, in the threading model and so on, very suitable for the new processors that are coming out. And, and those things uh, we can actually uh, port to Linux easily and um, uh, roll them into the stack. So there will be um, benefits coming from the Solaris work to the stack, uh, but there will also be uh, a good opportunity to exploit the common base to swap Linux servers, for example, with Solaris servers. We expect Solaris Lustre servers in, in uh, about half a year or so. They may well be better than Linux servers. At the moment, nobody knows. And by having a g an aligned solution, it will be very easy for us to offer one or the other and, and give you the best possible value. So um, certification is very important. Um, the hardware platforms um, that, that Sun has available for HPC, uh, they are moving rapidly with innovation. And um, you know, when Andy uh, arrives here in a few minutes, he will um, show you lots of new things that are coming. And so building turnkey solutions for us is very, very important. The very big sites are, in our experience, not very interested in turnkey solutions. They will cobble up the latest and greatest, you know, and make very delicate choices to get that extra teraflop out of there. Uh, but um, for the, the more common, smaller sites, building solutions that are fully tested, have a fully known performance, is actually going to be very, very important. Yeah? And, and so turnkey HPC solutions consisting of what John Fowler likes to call Constellation hardware, now with Constellation software, that's really what, what we're shooting for here. The certification tools, as I said earlier, um, they'll be open. And uh, Sun, for example, with um, the new efforts with Dell shipping Solaris, but also the efforts with Lustre, uh, which brought several new partners to Sun, such as Cray and DDN, the certification tools will be available for these partner and alliance solutions as well. Yeah, uh, we, we're not going to make this a Sun-only game. That probably doesn't work terribly well in the HPC community anyway. Um, so other things where the certification tools, other environments where the certification tools will be very useful will be in customer deployments. Yeah? If customers are uh, ultimately building something themselves or have a very novel and new installation, we just take the tools there and uh, make them uh, available. Now, one of the very painful things that the HPC support effort includes is <coughs> having to fix problems. And uh, you know, good examples of problems are that uh, due to faster hardware, new networks, um, the, the, the kernel, for example, breaks. The kernel is a very, very fragile element of, um, of any installation. 
and uh, certainly HPC installations are no exception. I think they're almost the leader because the newest hardware is usually delivered there first. Similarly, um, our experience has been that um, using InfiniBand with any new piece of hardware always exposes one little bug somewhere. And uh, the group that will be building the HPC constellation software will have some expertise both for fixing kernel problems and for fixing um, open fabrics InfiniBand problems. And so the, there will be some consultancy power available to help customers out to recertify solutions so that this isn't some kind of dark effort anymore in Sun where you have to uh, figure out who happens to know about it. Uh, there will be a way to reach uh, the right people systematically. So th there are a few other considerations I want to mention to you. Um, so SUSE and Red Hat are obvious candidates to be certified. And, and why is that? Well, um, first of all, Sun hardware is already certified on these platforms. Yeah, so why wouldn't we leverage that effort, which is, by the way, a very significant effort to make sure that the Sun hardware works well with this. But secondly, Novell and Red Hat both have an enormous portfolio of ISV relationships. And uh, in commercial high-performance computing, these ISV relationships are very, very important because um, you know, typical companies use, um, uh, I heard an example yesterday of uh, like 90% ISV applications and only 10% of in-house applications. And I've, s I've seen this in, in multiple companies. So the ISV relationships and the ISV effort is very important and it, it could be very costly, but I think that by taking this approach, we really align ourselves with what the industry would expect us to do. On the other hand, um, HPC people, I would almost say, are cheap. Yeah, they buy CentOS instead of Red Hat Advanced Server, or they don't buy it, they just download it. Um, Ubuntu is something that uh, secretly, I think, the HPC community is waiting for to go forward. And you know, depending on uh, what either um, Sun internally deems wise or where our customers will be dragging us, I expect that probably uh, one of CentOS or Ubuntu is going to be a certification candidate. Yeah, CentOS is extremely close to Red Hat, and given that uh, you know we, we should be certifying the HPC software on Red Hat, we should certainly probably also do it on CentOS. I think this might be the last slide. Yes? 